Okay, since we're on the topic of gross profit, we're going to end today's lecture with a ratio. The ratio to base on also the profitability of the business. Okay. So this is not an income. Again, gross profit is net sales minus cost of goods sold only, only minus only subtracting one expense account. Okay, so this ratio overall wants to tell us the company's profitability in terms of how well they're selling their inventory. Okay, so not in terms of the uses of operating expenses. We're just comparing gross profit, which is the differences between sales and cost of goods sold. Then we divide it by the total net sales revenue. Overall, this will tell us that for every dollar of sales that we make, the company makes, how much gross profit they're earning from every dollar of sales. So if the gross profit is 50, the net sales revenue is 100, then you're getting 0.5. For every dollar of sales, you're getting 0.5 of gross profit. So this ratio, the higher it is, the more profitable, profitable the company is um, doing in this season. There's no rule of thumb, not like current ratio, not like debt ratio. There's no rule of thumb to compare, to evaluate, just by looking at one number. <coughs> Usually what the industry does is compare across different seasons, the different quarters, different years of gross profit, and also cross-section with the same industry, their competitors. Okay, so there's no rule of thumb for this, but generally speaking, is the higher the better, because the higher this ratio is that represents the relationship between gross profit and net sales, the higher the gross profit is for every dollar of sales. Okay, but we will be comparing it to make an imp to imply whether the company is being as more profitable than the past or less profitable. It has to be based on comparison. Okay, so for earlier transactions, if our sales revenue of thousand dollars. Later on, you have sales returns, allowances, sales discounts. We will just be using the net sales for this ratio. Okay, again, not the original sales amount, 1,000. We'll be using overall what is the actual cash amount that you're getting from sales. This is what the net sales here is. Okay, net sales captures all the issues that happen in the middle, and then at the end, what is the actual cash that you're getting from sales transactions? <coughs> For this case here, we're doing 890 instead of the original 1,000. Okay, so make sure to keep in mind it's net sales, not the original sales revenue.